Hey there, it's uh, David Sirota, just updating you on a story that we reported on last week. I told you about how oil and gas money has flooded into Colorado at a time when Republican legislators have voted down bills to regulate the oil and gas industry here in Colorado, to regulate fracking and drilling. We did a follow-up report uh, recently about what's been going on, just how much money, campaign cash, has been coming into Colorado uh, to Republicans. We discovered one particular contribution that I want to tell you about. There was a bill in Colorado's legislature to force oil and gas companies to set their fracking and drilling operations further back from schools. Uh, this was a bill that came up a few days before a big explosion in northeastern Colorado at a home that killed two people. Uh, that bill, S Senate Republicans in Colorado voted down after those Senate Republicans uh, had benefited from a lot of oil and gas industry campaign cash coming into a group supporting their re-election campaigns, which helped them keep control of the Colorado State Senate. One donation was particularly important that we have just discovered. The board member, the lead director of Halliburton, you remember that company from Dick Cheney's era, the lead director of Halliburton poured $40,000 into the independent, independent expenditure committee of the state Republican Party on the exact same day that the Democrats setback bill was introduced. So in other words, Democrats introduce the bill to set back fracking and drilling from local Colorado schools. And on the same exact day, the lead director of Halliburton makes one of the largest donations in recent Colorado history to the independent expenditure committee of the state Republican Party that supports Senate Republicans in Colorado. Senate Republicans then subsequently vote down the setback bill. Now, Halliburton has a huge operation in Colorado. It employs uh, roughly 1,900 people here in Colorado. Uh, it is linked to major oil and gas industry trade associations in the state that lobbied against that bill. Uh, the Colorado Oil and Gas Association, the American Petroleum Institute, Halliburton has an affiliation with those groups. And so what you have here is a very explicit example of how money goes in in this case to the state Republican Party's uh, independent expenditure committee and a few weeks later a policy action came out of this, the state Republican Party this, the, that it supports the Republican legislators in the form of them voting down a bill that would have restricted uh, the oil and gas industry's ability to frack and drill around local schools. Now. The uh, lead director of Halliburton, he denies that his campaign contributions had anything to do uh, with the Colorado legislation. He actually said that he doesn't pay attention to what goes on in the legislature, uh, even though he's based here in Denver. I should also mention that he is also an investor uh, in a another local company. He runs a private equity firm that invests in another local company that is also uh, involved in the fracking industry here in Colorado. But he asserts that he had, you know, he had nothing to do, no idea, and, and, and the campaign contribution had nothing to do with the legislation here in Colorado. Uh, there is a lot of scrutiny going on right now here in Colorado after that home explosion about the oil and gas industry's political power in this state. The industry really has gotten used to making huge campaign contributions contributions without any scrutiny at all. And we're going to have a lot more to report on that soon. But I really wanted to tell you about that one campaign contribution because it's so big. As I mentioned, one of the biggest campaign contributions in recent history right on the same day that the bill was introduced.